Yo, 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 what's whoop, good? Trail Maker the Rapper. Your boy Elliot. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, that's what I thought, <laughs> bitches. Alright, check it out. Uh, first, I'd like to say before we get into this review about wrestling with fighting fighting with my family. Man, Something we get entitled. Those lines <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I want to give a shout out to Silencer and No Insidious. We went to Smiling Buddha today. Uh, this show is put on by Afton Shows. And um, it was the first time that they performed any of these songs live. And, uh, yo, so we got to see a very, like, golden performance. Uh, I want to just also say, just take a quick side note. Um, shout out to Nose's mom for uh, posting some of that footage via Facebook Live. I believe it was Facebook Live. And, um, yeah, like, we didn't get any footage. We were too wrapped up in the, like, aura of seeing the performance. So sometimes when you don't see performances via video... You should be there alive to be caught in that energy that, that we felt. For sure, for sure. Um, so now we're getting into this review about Fighting With My Family, the WWE film that is based on Paige's story of how she got into the WWE. So uh, pretty much this movie is a really good tale. Um, the casting uh, for... fucked up. <laughs> I was actually gonna say like the casting based on what we saw on the credits. Um they got the they got the mom looked down, you know, um they got the dad looked down, although like the dad in real life uh aged a little okay, more. Hold on. Yeah, no, the dad in the in like the real life like the afterwards clips was like a bit older up there in age as yeah. to where like the actor who played him reminded me of like an English version of a fucking uh what's his name? Uh that uh, hillbilly, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Okay. You reminded me of an English version of Larry the Cable Guy. Let's get those two on a fucking comedy stage together, yo. <laughs> Shit. Yo, you heard it. You heard it. Make it happen. World that watches this. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> um, what I'd like to also say is that I kind of wish that AJ Lee was uh was actually AJ Lee. <laughs> yeah cuz we like we were sitting here like yo we're pumped we're pumped right now even though this is Paige's story we're pumped and then it wasn't AJ Lee we're like Ugh. also if someone watching this review could uh let us know was that Carmella um making a cameo in this movie wearing the green uh wearing the uh green uh uh and out of all the uh, girls that Paige got to uh, partake in uh, the in training the of wrestling training with. aspect, yeah. yeah. Before the NXT. Also, answer this question. <laughs> who the hell did the... Like, who fell off a 30-foot cage for The Rock? Yeah. Who kid. is that? Is that The Rock to, like, talk a shit for a movie? Or is that, or is that like, supposed to be, like, a... Um, like, a, a reference to uh, Mankind and The Undertaker? You know, or like I think Rick, or Rikishi getting thrown off the Hell in a Cell. Was yeah, it, yeah, that was, that was Mankind Undertaker. Undertaker. Yeah, 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 that was also Hell in a Cell. But yeah, it was it was Rikishi sent his flying fat ass off there. Armageddon two thousand or two thousand and one or something like that. Yeah, that's a big man, yo. That's crushing whatever the fuck's down there. Straight <laughs> up, like <laughs> yo, yo, he he, he felt I he, I believe he went from off the cell onto like some like horse drawn carriage thing with some hay at the back like I don't know the setup for Armageddon was kind of interesting that was a six man hell in a cell bro anyways back to the page story yeah yeah I, um, so part two yes <laughs> yes part two uh, cause I don't have any space on this phone never does don't yes worry. it's nothing new uh basically the okay part three yeah okay after <laughs> friggin a couple of mishaps because of the space on the phone um yeah this honestly like any like any true story the story is really touching uh you know she comes from a uh wrestling family that's her background yeah. so like that's how she got caught up in the scene more or less this movie was supposed to be about uh like Paige's background like uh, before I, I, I get uh, the hair just before uh the her wrestling and like her debut right and it was pretty good i'd say they could have waited like they could have saved so much money by using the wwe and like the superstars for like the namesake at least like you had big show and fucking sheamus in there and the rock obviously but like 
why not actually use any of the old talent? Like, why, why, why not use any of those people, personally? That's just my thought, but yeah. Yeah, yo. So, no, no, that, that is some that's some good feedback. Um, I, I would give this movie, like, a 70%, because it was short and sweet, and, like, it got to the point, what, what do you, like, percentage-wise? I'm going to say, say 60 for me. 60? All right. All right, yo, because I have, like, no phone space, so that's our review. Talk to you guys. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Peace. Monica. Yeah, yeah.